Hello everyone. This is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. And in this video, we are going to take you through an absolutely beautiful journey. This is actually the journey which an embryo goes through after fertilization. See, we all know that whenever we are doing any form of assisted reproduction, predominantly IVF or ICSI, here we are going to be discussing about ICSI, wherein the sperm of the male partner is manually micro injected inside the egg or inside the oocyte of the female partner. After this, what happens? After this, if the fertilization occurs, the embryo begins to grow. Obviously, the embryo is cultured inside a culture system, inside an incubator. And here, we are going to show you and demonstrate and give you an example of what is the first stage of development. See, remember, we all begin as a single cell. We've studied this in our biology. We begin as a single cell and then we begin to divide. This division is called as mitosis, as we all know. The embryo also goes through this journey, but at a specified timeline. Why are we doing this and why is this important? Remember, on an average, when IVF is done or when ICSI is done, we need to choose the best possible embryo and we need to identify which embryo is the best possible embryo which can help in implantation. Remember, as you all know, the average success rate of IVF is an age-dependent parameter. And if the age crosses 35, the success rate keeps on decreasing serially. So in today's video, we are going to show you the first part of the journey. That is something called as the 2PN stage or the 2 pronuclei stage. It's a little technical thing, but we thought we'll show this to everyone so that whenever anyone is undergoing assisted reproduction, you will have some idea of how the embryo goes through and what is the journey. Now, ideally, this is something called as a time-lapse incubator. It's a little expensive instrument which allows us to visualize the embryo. For example, if I just show you this particular patient, this is, I think, best seen when the lights are closed. So if you now see, if you see, there are multiple eggs, you know, which are kept in a specific chamber. And what we are trying to visualize is actually the 2 pn stage. So if I move the camera a little close, see, you will see that the embryo, sorry, it just got, uh, my finger just touched that. I think we can show them uh, this one, let's say, or maybe something with a good 2pn. Two, two yeah, even this is a good 2pn, but I think this is better. Come. So we'll show them this. See, as you can see, there is a surrounding shell. This surrounding thing is called as the zona pellucida. Now, you can see currently it is at a single cellular stage. But what is interesting is this thing in the center. You can see these two things in the center. This is called as the 2PN stage or the pronuclei stage. Now, whenever we are looking at the pronuclei, it is very, very important to assess this small circle also. You know, you can see the small circle. This small circle is called as the polar body. Of course, it is a very technical thing, but one must remember as a patient that as a embryologist or as a ART specialist, we are looking at certain characteristics inside this 2PN stage. First thing is the time. Now this patient, if I show you, has undergone approximately 15 hours of culture. So when you begin to see the pronuclei within the first 16 to 18 hours of culture, it is considered to be a very, very good sign. That is something which all of you must make note of. Second, whenever we see this 2PN stage like this, this is ideal. You know, there can be something like this. Let me just show it, to show something else to you for the same patient. You can see here, there is just a single pronuclei. I'm not very happy. This indicates that though fertilization has occurred, this might not give rise to a very healthy embryo. Likewise, let's look at this. This is the other oocyte beautiful pronuclei. You see, you can see two pronuclei. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's look at this. This seems to be slightly degenerated. Now, anyone or everyone can obviously ask us, you know, why is it 
that when technically the same procedure has been done some eggs are fertilized and some eggs are not fertilized remember this is predominantly the theory of natural selection as a result of this your ivf consultant is trying to get the maximum number of oocytes because even if we have let's count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here we have 10 oocytes and out of 10 oocytes we've observed fertilization in approximately 7 of them and out of those 7 one fertilization see this one which i showed you with a single pro nuclei is not very good so that means only 6 are healthily fertilized that is exactly how it occurs in nature as well as a result of this and due to such wonderful artificial intelligence technologies it's very very important for all of you to note and to remember such things that this entire process is a highly skilled process and there is a lot of natural selection occurring in this entire process obviously whenever ivf is being done your doctor is always trying to get the best possible embryos to give you the best possible outcome but whenever you have such wonderful technologies available such technologies help us in choosing and predicting which embryos will be good so that we can give you an approximate success rate of close to 30 to 35% whenever we are able to select a very good embryo in our next video we'll show you the next stage which is called as the two cell stage and i think even that is going to be very interesting thank you so much for a patient listening through this video